Okay, here's another random update. This time I'm just going to show you some of the code that actually makes this tick currently. Um, this is the wrong color. It opened incorrectly. Close that, put back in Unity, click on Game Master again. These look like they're the correct color, but they aren't. They should look along the lines of these. So, here's the Game Master. And just... Okay, Unity's not giving me errors. So, first off, we have the Game Object in the Enemy Object. Then the Spawn Points, a list of them. The Parent Object for the Enemy Objects and then the player object, which is the target. Here are the three uh, references to the different texts I have. Now, the frame rate text isn't in here because that's not my own code. Then I have a tag for both the player and the AI. Spawn time and a pass time. Um, and then here's all the score stuff. Score and count and coins. Now here is where the score gets the score and coins get updated. Uh, down here, I'm calling it derp text because I didn't know what to call the enemies, so they're derps, and they are very derpy. And every time this um goes through, what it will do is actually decrease the amount of uh, spawn time it takes. Just something random I added in. I however have to add in the AI move component and and then set the uh, target for them all, which makes it so they all move. And what this does here is actually spawn them in one of the three points using random.range. Now over here, which you saw earlier, is a minimap control, which really all there is is the key binding, which is here. This tells it if it is on or off, which it starts default by on. And here's the map, which is technically a camera. And if and every update it checks if the key is down for the map toggle and if is on is on, it will set it to false and disable the map. And the inverse as well. Now let's go take a look at AI move, which is right here. Okay, why is are you red? Technically, that okay. Ignore the fact it's red and tell me things are wrong when it's not. So the AI needs a target. It has it saves its current position. Also need the rigid body, which is for the um uh, physics engine. The speed variable, which I'm actually not sure if I'm messing with. Yeah, I'm not. But I was doing something else, um, a collider, so I can actually tell what's going on and then it's health. This would get the game master in the scene. This will find its rigid body and its collider. Now, here's the update. First off, I'm setting its current position to... I'm getting its current position and saving it so I have a reference to it, because this gets obnoxious to type out constantly. So then there's this. The move position is, um, now this is my way of doing it. Oh, that's what speed is for. Uh, move towards is just another means of making things move in this. There's, um, a nav mesh agent, which would be able to do a similar thing as well. However, the current position, then my character's position, and the speed for how many, um, units in world space it tries to move at once. And then it will try to, then the rigid body will try to move however much the vector 3 move position wants it to. Now down here, I'm getting a overlap spear, or sphere, not spear, totally different things, through the physics engine, which is give me things within a, two units of it. And if it comes up with something with the tag of player, it decreases its health 
its health by one. Once its health hits zero, and or is less than zero, it will add one coin. Add one to the coin score and one to the score. And then it'll destroy the object. Now, here's my player movement class, which is a little derpy. This is the um, Unity one which I'm tempted to hunt down its camera control. Where is that camera control? Eh, I'll find that later. And here's the menu controller, which is controlling the uh, escape menu and the upgrade menu, which currently neither really do anything. I just haven't made all the functions for all the buttons yet. So here's the update, it's just checking if the escape key or the upgrade key is being pushed, which are these. These are the references to the game objects in the menu. Uh, this tells you which menu is active, and this is the key that's going to be pressed. And now here's my uh, state machine for it, which is a lot. Now, this right here is where I am actually able to pause the time and such. By setting the time scale at zero, I have discovered that the update sort of doesn't run in a manner that makes sense. Because by setting the time scale to zero, this entire thing doesn't run. However, in the AI move, I don't even have that, but it still doesn't move. So I'm suspecting it's because it's the update itself that's getting paused. Because I'm just outright setting it to zero and then setting the time scale back to one when you exit it. Which goes the same for the upgrade menu. And, well, that's all of my code for it. Um, if you're wondering what this health bar is for, my character will eventually have his own health bar. Even, um, let's turn the shield bar on. Even some shields, which you'll be able to buy in the, uh, Upgrade menu from here. And that's all. So, see ya.